Tekken. Continuing the trend of card-related Wonderswan games, this week we're taking a look at Tekken Card Challenge. Tekken Card Challenge takes one of the biggest fighting game franchises and fuses it with a collectible card game. It was developed by Namco, published by Bandai, and released on June 17, 1999. Tekken, of course, is a super successful 3D fighting game series developed by Namco and originally released in 1994 in the arcades. Following Namco's acquisition of a few developers who had worked on Virtua Fighter, Namco decided to turn what was then a 3D animation tech demo into a Virtua Fighter-like fighting game, featuring higher detailed textures and a smoother frame rate. The System 11 board that the game ran on was based on PlayStation hardware, which had two big impacts on Tekken establishing its position in the market. The hardware it ran on was much cheaper than Sega's Model 2 hardware, so it could be pitched as a cheaper alternative to Virtua Fighter 2 for smaller arcades, and because of the similarity to the PlayStation, it could be ported to it rather easily. 23 years later, here we are just a month following the launch of Tekken 7 on PS4, and Tekken is bigger than ever, while Capcom appears to be fumbling around with Street Fighter V. In Tekken Card Challenge's Adventure Mode, you can take control of your favorite characters from Tekken 3 and wander around a large square map. At the start of the game, the map is all fogged up, and walking around clears up the fog revealing more of the map. It's your goal to find the exit within a limited number of steps, while fighting any other Tekken characters you find along the way. So where exactly do cards come into play? Well, the traditional fighting game mechanics have been stripped out of the game and replaced with card fighting mechanics. Each player starts with a hand of four cards in one of three types. Attack block, or counter, each with their own number on them indicating their offensive or defensive power. Both players are presented with a roulette which spins around the cards in their hand, and you need to stop the roulette to determine which card you're going to be playing that turn. Whichever of both players' cards has the highest number wins, and then the move or action that card it represents is performed. There are also card subtypes such as combo cards which build atop each other, juggle cards which allow for follow-up attack, and charge cards which delay an attack for a turn but makes the attack more powerful. You can acquire more cards by finding them throughout the adventure mode, either as items on the map or by fighting a certain number of enemies before healing at a shrine. Aside from the adventure mode, there is an arcade mode where you can face off against an individual opponent, and if you have a friend, you can also hook up via the Wonderswan communication cable and fight one-on-one. -on -one. When I was researching this game, I saw that the average import review score for Tekken Card Challenge was 1.5 out of 5, and I feel that's a little harsh. This game is not a train wreck, but it's got one major thing going against it. In a traditional card game, the randomness of card draw is balanced out by your own ability to choose what you want to play. Unfortunately, the roulette element adds an extra dexterity test into the formula and makes it harder for the player to execute the correct play at all times. But in a strange way, this is also very fitting for a card game based on a fighting game franchise. Fighting games are also a genre where your ability to make the right play and your dexterity are tested together, and perhaps this was the developer's attempt to make that connection in the card game genre. Even if you manage to make that connection, I think the game ultimately suffered by not living up to the expectations of what gamers wanted when they heard a Tekken game was coming to Wonderswan. This game is by no means a 1.5 out of 5, but it's also by no means remarkable.